Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrov. In this video, I will be explaining how to use the Roblox FPS Unlocker and boost the FPS in your Roblox game. So by default, the Roblox FPS is capped to 60. And right now on my end, you can see I'm getting the FPS that is below 60, around 58, 59 that is fluctuating. That what we will be increasing right now in front of you. But before proceeding, you might have a question that will you get banned for using this kind of Roblox FPS unlocker? So let me clarify that. According to the tweet of RTC, it clearly says Roblox will not ban you for the FPS unlocker or shader on Roblox. And that is because you are just unlocking the FPS. You're not doing anything wrong. OK, so let's quickly get started. First, you will have to completely close your Roblox game. Once it get closed, you will have to come to this GitHub website of Roblox FPS Unlocker. And then here below in the asset, you will find RBX FPS Unlocker.zip. Click on it and you might get this kind of message suspicious download blocked. OK, this is just because that Windows security doesn't allow this kind of file. So what you have to do, you need to click on this small drop down. And then either you will be getting download suspicious file or continue downloading. You will have to click on it and this zip file will be downloaded. So click on the downloaded folder. Now make a right click on it. Then click extract all. Click on extract. And once it will be extracted, you will find this kind of icon of RBX FPS Unlocker.exe. So now what you have to do, you just need to drag this to your desktop. And now you have to make a double click on it. The black window will come up and it will automatically get disappeared. Now after that, next what you have to do, click on the system tray icon at the right hand corner. And you will find this FPS Unlocker icon over here. Make a right click on it. Make sure this unlock Roblox player has been checked. Then you have to hover up on FPS cap. And from here, you will have to select the FPS that you want to. I would recommend you that kindly go with 165 or 240 and keep making the changes until you find the best FPS. OK, let me select 240. And now if I again start the Roblox game. So let's see what kind of changes will come up. And if this black window comes up, do not worry. Uh, it will run in the background. It will not harm any kind of your information. OK, and now let's quickly open any of the game. The same game I was using earlier. I will click on play. OK, so now I'm inside the game. And this time, in order to show my FPS stat, I will press the shift and the F5 key. So now you can see the FPS has been increased, uh, but it's still uh, somewhere around 60 only. OK, 63, 64 uh it's fluctuating okay so in case you also don't find too much of difference then what you have to do next again you have to close your roblox game again make a right click on the system tray icon right click on this roblox fps unlocker or up to fps cap and then you can reduce this 240 to 165 okay and then let's again start the roblox Okay, so you will have to make these changes few time in order to find out that what kind of cap work for you best. All right, so again, the game is up. Okay, and let's see that this time what kind of uh, FPS I'm getting. Okay, so now this time you can see I'm getting somewhere like 85, 90. So what I can do next, again, I can close the Roblox and again, I can go to the system tray icon, right click on the FPS unlocker, FPS cap, and then the I can try with 144. 120 and i can also try with 240 or 360. so with whichever fps cap you get the best fps you can keep that selected and then you can enjoy your roblox game so that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed this video and found this helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye